hello you guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing collective we're gonna get right into it you guys i already kind of spread this is the same spread i think um we are saying put it back out there so i put it back out there but you know your story don't pick it up if it's not for you okay and we're gonna get right back into it okay so what i was getting is your Akashic Records is open, right? So, like, in your past life, somebody somebody most definitely try to take, you know, they don't want you to know about your Akashic Records. So, somebody's been doing a lot of mental magic on you, been doing a lot of work on your crown. But anyway, in your past life, you could have been this wealthy man. You could have been, like, a lawyer, a judge. Uh, you, were, you were in some type of position of authority where... You could call judgment or pass judgment on people. Um, you could even be like just famous or like well known. You were very wealthy in your past life. Most definitely. But in this lifetime, somebody wanted you to be poor shit. You hear me? Because of what you did to them in your past life. So these are karmics. They done followed you into this lifetime and done you know, shape shifted into all different forms and types of individuals, you hear me, to stop and block you this lifetime. Somebody most definitely was working so hard this lifetime to steal your wealth, your great fortune, your uh, position of authority, your uh, just your position in life. Somebody wanted you to be scared to step out of your comfort zone and be that leader. Somebody was trying to take your voice too as well as what I'm getting. Somebody uh, did not want you to step into the spotlight. They wanted you to be scared to step out into the spotlight. They wanted you to feel like you were not good enough. You know, you were inadequate. You didn't have the credentials or it was not for you. Or, uh, you know, somebody just didn't want you to be you. They didn't want you to be out that you could be collective. They most definitely did not. They didn't want you to be confident within yourself. Somebody did not want you to take your rightful place as king or queen or emperor, empress. Take it how it resonates. They did not want you to do that. Somebody wanted you to be scared to express your natural leadership qualities. Somebody most definitely was doing a lot of mental work on you, spiritually, physically, emotionally. They were doing a lot of all kind of work on you so you would feel shy or whatever but this is not the time to be shy instead you need to step out there most definitely and um show up show who you are must up all your courage collective be confident within yourself and create your own reality somebody did not want you to be able to create your own reality in your past life you could have been just this master manifesto i don't know whatever it was it you were very wealthy Whatever you were doing in your past life, you were very wealthy. And somebody tried to take this from you. Somebody even somebody knew that you were destined for greatness when you were a kid. So they wanted to steal your wealth, your shine, your, your money, your light. You hear me? Your star. They most definitely did. And you most definitely were a star in your past life. And this lifetime, too, it's, it's not over. You hear me? Because you're confident within yourself. And um, you're going to make a complete commitment, collective. Yes, you are. You're going to say, I will. I will um, do what I need to do to get out there and put my work out there, put myself out there, step into my role, step into the spotlight and accept it. Instead of hiding and being shy and allowing folks to take from you and walk all over you, no, you're going to stand your ground. You hear me? And be all that you can be, collective. So, like I said, go on and gather up all your courage. Gather up all your confidence. And gather up all whatever you need to gather up to create this new you. Because you're not going to let fear stop you this time. Most definitely not. Somebody thought that you, you know, you were going to be scared. Because they most definitely um, did this to you in the past. Also, something about uh, you need to face your financial fears. Two as well is what I'm getting. I got 11 11 here. There's a portal that's opening up for you. 11 11 is also your angels and your ancestors. Your spirit guys, they are protecting you on this journey. Most definitely, when you are honest with yourself about your financial or uh, 
I'm going to say, once you're honest with yourself about your fear of, like, success or failure, take how it resonates. They no longer have control over you. Do you hear me, collective? This is what they've been doing. They've been wanting you to be scared to go out on a different path uh, so you can be successful, so you can be that star, so you can be that influencer, so you can be that teacher, that advisor, that um, whatever it is that, that you want to do. Somebody wants you to be scared of that shit. Yeah, be free, collective. Be free of hidden fears. Because, you know, we all have fears. That That's that's a, a, a feeling. But fear is an illusion. You hear me? All that shit is an illusion. And they've been trying to place this illusion of fear onto you. And they also been trying to place the uh, illusion of you being able to trust yourself and trust your instincts and trust your intuition too as well. Somebody wanted you to fear failure or even fear success. All that shit, that's an illusion. Be free of that. Be free of any hidden fears. Expose them to the light. And bring it to the forefront and be aware of what it is that you need to uh, address, heal, whatever it is that you need to do. And you'll realize that um, you, in fact, have nothing to fear. There's nothing to be I'm gonna say scared of. I don't know why I always want to say scared. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing to be afraid of. Not at all. Get out there and do it. That's all you got to do. Because, you know, everybody, every star, every person that's in some type of influential position, they all struggle. They may not tell you or you just don't see it, but you don't know what somebody did, the struggles they went through to get to where they are. Everybody struggles. I don't care if it's just struggling with um, stage fright or um, fear of speaking, you know, in front of people or whatever. Everybody struggles. Every successful person has some type of struggle. And when you release that, that self-doubt or that fear of whatever it is, collective, you're going to be unstoppable. You hear me? That's what they've been trying to do. That's the fear that they've been trying to place upon you because somebody do not want you to be a star, uh, famous, uh, in the spotlight. They don't want you to be influential. They don't want you to help others. They don't want you to get this abundance that is owed to you. This is your destiny. This was this was your destiny. Somebody most definitely stole this from you. Somebody that's influential in the spotlight now. They stole this from you. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. But guess what? You're going to take all that back. Once you acknowledge what it is that you are fearful of, success or failure, whatever it is, you're going to get all that back. Yeah, I'm also getting something about... Oh, Something about some, some funding or a donation, something like that. Yeah, you don't have to do nothing alone. You're going to have support. Um, you're going to have support. I'm getting like, don't be worried about money concerns either to prevent you from turning, you know, into this influential person or don't like money restrict you like you may not have all the funds to just do everything just big or everything at once don't let that restrict you either because i'm getting like successful funding will come towards you multiple streams of income uh people that want to come in and help you people that want to invest in you donate or whatever don't you know don't let fear of not Feeling like you have enough. Like I said, that's an illusion too as well. You got to pay attention to your thought process most definitely at this time. Because your ideas are being divinely guided and supported by the infinite wisdom of God. You hear me? Mm-hmm. That's, that's who gave you that idea. Your higher power. That's who gave you the idea of even what it is that you are trying to work on. Yeah. I'm getting something about uh, partnerships are coming your way too. Somebody may want to come towards you and invest. I'm getting like some some investor wants to come your way and help you. If you feel like you got money problems, they want to work with you. Mm-hmm. 
but be weary of who's trying to come towards you now that you know. Because th there was a thief on your path, most definitely. That was taking your star, your shine, your money. This could be somebody who you work with or somebody most definitely just doing a lot of work on you in the past is what I'm getting. To, ha to make you have those concerns, to prevent you from being, um, Mm, excuse me from preventing you from being out you could be and uh trying to turn you know your reality into reality yeah hold on a minute let me see yeah whoever this is you're gonna lose respect for this person secretly losing all respect for someone yeah somebody was saying that you were a toxic parent here Nurture your ideas, collective. I told you I can't make this shit up. Mm -hmm. Simply want you to have amnesia or suffer from it. Yeah, because somebody don't want you to know about your past life. Your caustic records are open, like I said. Someone saw your name on the altar. This is this altar worker here that's been stealing your energy for a long time. Yeah, this could even be a parent. You're going to lose respect for this person when you find out who the hell this is. Uh-huh. Or, uh, uh, or a significant other. Somebody who you got a family with or something. They were saying that you were a toxic parent. But that was an illusion. That's a lie. Most definitely. Even if you, you want the best parents, you, you did all that you could do. You hear me? You worked hard to um, take care of your family, most definitely. Somebody lost sight of what truly was important, and that was love here. If someone is triggering you, it's your twin flame. So this person is a false twin flame that was trying to trigger you is what I'm getting. Because you're nurturing your ideas. Yep, somebody's mad you done healed your eyes. You're seeing things clearly, collective. Yeah, that they were working against you. They were secretly working against you. It's not a secret no more. The secret is out. Yeah. You are in a healing process. Most definitely. You're in a healing process. And somebody who could have been a superstar with you, they lost sight on what was truly important, and that was love. They most definitely, like, switched up on you. And try to steal your money, your energy, or whatever, and went with somebody else and went on the other way, or they were paid to do it. Um, you know, shit, I don't know. They feel like you were not deserving of it, whatever. This person could be married already or in a relationship. Yeah, now that secret is struggling, struggling with grief here. Yeah, now they want to try to come back around and try to place their karma onto you. Don't let this person touch you. Mm -mm. A mother figure is secretly very jealous of her own daughter. This could even be a mother figure. Take it how it resonates. This somebody, somebody's mother figure. Like I said, it's a parent. They got your name on the altar. They, this parent most definitely went and got altar work done on you. They traveled is what I'm getting. Yeah, because they jealous of you because somebody knew that you were a superstar. They knew that you were wealthy. Somebody done came back in this life as your mother to take you down. You hear me? Trying to say you a toxic parent. This mother figure is the toxic parent. You done told this mother you don't want to be nothing like this bitch. You hear me? And she mad. So, yeah. So, she been trying to make you suffer from amnesia. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. Trying to place their karma, their karmic debt from their past life onto you this lifetime. They wanted you to be heavily burdened, stuck in a rut. You hear me? They didn't want you to move forward. They didn't want you to heal the generation of curses. They didn't want you to heal that poverty spell that they put on you or whatever. Trying to put their karma onto you, collective. Yeah, but you're in this healing process. They, they somebody, somebody mad that you done healed and you done healed your eyes. You're seeing things clearly. Mm-hmm. They could have been married. Somebody sending men or women towards you that are already married or in relationships. They wanted you to be 
a, somebody's side piece, honey. They ain't want you to have real love because they were um, dealing with people that were in relationships or whatever. Yeah, they were working against you. It's not a secret. Now they're struggling with grief here. They're trying to trigger you and your twin flame. They was they were trying to keep you guys apart. You and your twin flame, y'all was supposed to be like famous, rich, or uh, influential, fame, whatever, honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're very sneaky and conniving. For somebody, this is, oh, uh, take it how it resonates with you, collective. This could be, um, uh, this could even be somebody, yeah, a lover here that went against you too as well. Tossed out like a shoe. They could, yo, um, uh, somebody took some hair to do magic on you. Um, you could have been tossed out. I got a young age. That was part of the plan to make you feel, you know, inadequate. Ooh, this is, I'm stuck on this marriage and already in a relationship, honey. For somebody that's a wealthy man on your path, ma'am, this person is already in a relationship. Yeah, they want to put the moves on you, though. But they in a relationship. Like, these are the type of energies people from your past are watching you and stalking you online. This is the type of energies that they trying to send towards you. Yeah, what's this? I release any negative emotions and beliefs that no longer serve me. I let go of self-sabotaging habits and patterns. Like I said, let that shit go. You hear me? L-I-G let it go. What was this that's already in a relationship? Collective. Somebody trying to come towards you. They in a relationship. On the bottom, we got a false person. False person. Then we got official person. We got an official person that's a false person. Official person. I mean, your official person is already in a relationship or already married. So your person, person. What, what is this? Yeah, that's your person, person. They in a relationship, so they could be getting out of a relationship. Because your mother could have been blocking your person, person. Yeah. They getting a divorce, though. Somebody could have got a, a divorce in 2022. 2023, they got a new contract. Concern. Message. I'm, well, okay, well, message. Oop, look, message. I didn't even see it and I said it. Y'all. Yeah, this could be concerning to your person. They want to talk to you. This mature man. You could be a feminine here. Your person person was already married before. Yeah, they may even have a family. So they could have got divorced between 2021 and 2023. Wow. What's going on? Message. We got message. That's the truth. Something's being laid to rest here. They could have been like in a bad, toxic relationship. They're healing. They know who you are. They healed their eyes. This I say Leo. 731 Leo energy. This masculine, they may want to come towards you and work with you. Look. 2222. Two, two, two. They want to work something out. They want to talk to you about courting you or working something out with you. What they want to talk about? Oh. About them leaving the relationship out in the cold. And about them, uh, 
some of that the, the, the poverty, yeah, this lover here is putting, like, connecting something together about this poverty spell that was placed upon you guys. And they could be getting messages and downloads that they trying to heal something with you. They want to lay something to rest. Somebody's out in their head because they know that they were blocked from um coming towards you. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting like this person. Um, they can have a family with a false person, or they. I don't know. Somebody, your family wanted you to meet false people on your journey. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to travel towards your community. why i feel like i don't know they yeah they want to come in and support you though i mean like this is a gift that's being like given back to you from god yeah your person they coming towards you unexpectedly they could want to come in and this could even be, be like um somebody that's in an official position they want to come in like i said and help you support you donate to you um uh, Something like that. What did I write down? I wrote down something the other day. Let me see. Where is it at, Steve? Where is it at? Okay, here you go. Yeah. Oh. Somebody feels like love is a distraction. Because you love hard. A soulmate is trying to enter your life. Everything isn't going to be all peachy. But there's always going to be, you know, problems, challenges, worries. They're not going to go away with a blink of an eye. You can try to solve them. And this person's going to be here to help you. Wow. Yeah, a romantic partner don't give you all the answers in life, nor supply you with a lifetime of happiness. They are there for support. You don't have to face things alone. They are there to be a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on. If, if that's what you need, collectively. And to support you with building your hopes, wishes, and dreams together. And to hold your hand and be by your side as you guys move through life together with this person. This person, they love you and you love this person too as well. It's, like, it's going to be like... um. You like you guys known each other before because you have in the past or a past life. Take it how it resonates. But and y'all just gonna keep going even when times get hard and this person's gonna be there for you and have your back and vice versa. Collective is what I'm getting. So beautiful. Yeah, just give yourself permission to love. Cause somebody did not want you to love. They don't want you to get love. But, hey, this is coming towards you. Look, yeah, trust. This person, you're going to be able to trust this person. This person wants to uh, build some type of alliance with you. Compatibility. Yeah. Compatibility. Yep. This is your soulmate. Eternal love. This stresses somebody out because they thought that you were a victim. They were trying to make you a victim. They're trying to hold you in this trap. Yeah, so they can end you on your soulmate's connection or your twin flame. You know, take it how it resonates with you. Wow, somebody was out in that ego. They wanted you to feel inadequate, but it's um came to somebody's attention that you know your self worth, honey. Yeah, you got good self esteem. Even though they try to make you feel homeless or impoverished or uh poor, like a castaway. Some like I said, somebody's gonna come in and help you donate to you. Yeah, somebody's trying to strong have you stronghold it held back in this memory. Yeah, they were trying to bind you. Bind your memory. Try, trying to bind you to a contract. Yeah, but you got support coming in, collective. Most definitely. Wow. And whatever somebody was desiring here or trying to plan, that shit's been blocked. Like I said, somebody want somebody most definitely. This is a parent here. They were trying to bind your memory, your uh of what you did in the past. Cause in the past you could have locked up your parents. I don't know. Like I said, you had some type of authority. 
Yeah, and you could have caused judgment on their ass or caused judgment, whatever. Yeah, so they were planning to make you withdraw or feel rejected here from your desires, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, honey. That was the agreement. Like I said, they paid this outer worker here to do this. They even paid like other people to come into your life and to make you feel rejected and blocked so you would not receive the gift here. A promotion. Yeah, cause stagnation. Wanted you to be conflicted here mentally, physically, emotionally. Trying to uh, cause conflict to you receiving a gift of marriage. Wow. And inner peace, friendships, all that. Wow, sweet dreams, having satisfaction in your life. Man, somebody want to apologize. They feel guilty because they know you're a sweetheart. What? A sweetheart is wealthy. You hear me? <laughs> wow, somebody got a reading done. They realize they lost whatever they were trying to do. Yeah, whoever this stubborn person is is very arrogant. They realize they lost. Yeah, you done tossed that ass out like a, a old shoe. Yeah, you're not fucking with them. Excuse my language, but you're not. You're not, Collecting. Yeah, now they feel rejected. And now they want to quit. They want to quit trying to break you. Yeah, because it's not working. So somebody been playing, um, doing a lot of uh, memory work, mind work on you. Yeah, somebody wants you to have these harmful thought patterns that create strongholds. Somebody wants you to have an arrogant attitude. So y'all be careful of being arrogant, okay? Because it causes strongholds in the spiritual realm. Mm-hmm. This most definitely is a spiritual bully who's been spiritually abusing you. Because they feel like you've been, um, uh, you just, um, uh, you spoiled or something. Yeah, this most definitely is a dark empire. But you are being guided and led to your kingdom. Because with the weapons of warfare from God, I pull down every stronghold of evil in my life, collective, and yours too. Yeah, it don't matter whatever stronghold it is in your life. Whatever it is, the Holy Ghost fire has all strongholds. Uh, I mean, the Holy Ghost fire lifts all strongholds. Okay. Yeah, they take every negative thought captive. Let that shit go. What am I looking for? Let me see. What am I looking for? Oh, wow. Okay, it's a new soul. Somebody been playing them mind games, but you got a new soul. God's grace here. Five is change, growth. Something about uh, the seven spirits of God. You know what I just heard? Seven spirits of God. Is that what that is? Seven spirits of God. Let me Google that. What's the seven spirits of God? The spirit of the Lord. Spirit of wisdom, of understanding, counsel, of might, of knowledge, and fear of the Lord. So, yeah. Some, like I said, somebody, oh, somebody even wanted you to fear your father. Fear of the Lord. When I hear Lord, I'm, I get like tyrant, a man, or a feminist. Somebody wants you to fear them. Somebody wants you to fear, like, man. Somebody wants you to fear man. Yeah, but you got this wisdom, your understanding. And you're mighty, collective. You got the knowledge. Most definitely. Okay. The names of the Holy Spirit, the helper. The Holy Spirit who is in you. A new spirit. Didn't I just say new soul? Okay. The spirit of grace. The spirit of glory. And the spirit of supplication. And again, my witness. Okay. I'm right, collective. You got the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, uh, and the fear of the Lord. You, I'm telling you, God is on your side. 
Is it pity? 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 Pity. P I E T Y. Got that too, collective. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Piety. Okay. Piety. The quality of being religious. A belief or point of view that mm -hmm. is accepted with unthinking, conventional, re revenge, reverence, reverence. Wow. <laughs> Obedience, that's what that is. The duty. Submissiveness to God, respect. Yeah, okay. The acceptance of pity, piety of our time. Dutiful, obedient, obedience, respect, submissiveness, submissiveness, y'all. So something about you gonna be famous, I guess, for your spiritual practice or something like that. You guys together or something like that collective is what i'm getting but yeah that's what i have for you guys this is this is um good for you guys this is like groundbreaking for someone too remember you are in a healing process so don't be hard on yourself you know everything is not gonna happen overnight but you do need to release any negative emotions any negative beliefs that no longer serve you and let that shit go. Let go of self-sabotaging ways, habits, patterns, all that that was conditioned onto you. Is what I'm getting. Somebody is religious that was doing this. This is a religious group. I don't know if you are religious, spiritual, whatever. But uh, I'm getting like this was a religious group that was doing this. Or whatever religion that they practice. They most definitely were like um, attacking you. But... You got your angels and your ancestors guiding you. You got divine guidance right now. And it's leading you to great fortune, sudden wealth, and some more sudden wealth. You hear me? All of a sudden. And I'm getting like, it's going to be a major shift, like, all of a sudden. Mm hmm We got seven, seven. Seventy-seven. Eighty-eight. And 11, 11. So you could be seeing like a lot of double double numbers. Seven, seven, eight, eight, and 11, 11. You guys may need to look those numbers up. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I'm in it right there, you guys. I'm going to love you to life.